Best of Health, presented by Clarion Health, Methodist IU and Riley Hospitals. This is not an ordinary checkup with a pediatrician. Hi! These are audiologists conducting a mapping appointment to determine how the child responds to or produces sounds. They are testing the child's listening skills by exposing her to various sounds while subtly training her to make sense of what she hears. This process is part of Clarion's cochlear implant program at IU and Riley Hospitals. The program is directed to help people hear after cochlear implantation. As a leading pioneer for cochlear implants, world-renowned professor and chairman of otolaryngology for the Indiana University School of Medicine, Dr. Richard Miyamoto elaborates on this unique device. A cochlear implant is an electronic device and the device takes the place of the ear in terms of changing sound vibrations into electrical signals and that signal then goes to the brain and is interpreted as sound by the patient. Cochlear implants are not hearing aids. Cochlear implants have a more innovative approach to hearing by allowing an individual to perceive sound, not by amplifying. Yeah, good girl. Prior to this invention, there was nothing that could benefit a profoundly deaf patient. The cochlear implant has proven to improve lip reading, improve recognition of speech, and improve the ability to understand speech in noisy and quiet environments. Hi, Tressa. Dr. Miyamoto has surgically implanted these devices on hearing impaired and deaf patients, ranging in age from infants to older adults. There's a wide patient population that are now um, beneficiaries of this technology. Um, age is not uh, a huge uh, obstacle any longer. Our oldest patient uh, at IU is uh, 87 that uh, had an implant, and our youngest patients, and we have a couple of them were implanted at the age of six months. And all of these patients are profoundly deaf um, and do not receive significant benefit from a conventional hearing aid. Those are the same good job! Dr. Miyamoto is responsible for bringing the 8th International Cochlear Implant Conference to Indianapolis, Indiana, beating out several countries bidding for the event. The two and a half day conference covered topics such as new cochlear implant designs and clinical management initiatives for severely or profoundly deaf patients. In addition to patient speech, cochlear implants help provide access to a range of sounds, such as horns honking, sirens wailing, and doorbells ringing. Good girl! Good girl! To get tested for a cochlear implant, prospective patients should contact the IU School of Medicine's cochlear implant team at 317-274-3556. For more information on this or other health topics, visit clarion.org or call 1-800-265-3220. Diabetes tried to take away Kennedy's childhood. Kennedy had other plans. Since 1924, we focused all our resources on one thing and one thing only, helping children get well. Riley Hospital for Children. Trust our experience.